I'm Jake Bruton and today on The Build Show we're going to talk about the math behind a blower door and what the ACH numbers mean. Let's do it now. Okay, so I think that we have to start the blower door conversation, even though we've had it before, with what code says. So the code for 2021 changed, so it's a little different, but in my market it's 3ACH50. Uh, and now the new code for the whole nation is 5ACH50. Uh, that means air exchanges per hour. So if we look at it in the simplest way, it's air changes uh, per hour at 50 pascals of pressure, and that's ACH50. Uh, that means that if we pressurize the home to 50 pascals of pressure, which is a very small measurement, think of it as, uh, or a very small pressure, think of it as uh, just large enough to get a reading, but not large enough to like blow newspapers around or knock pictures off the wall or cause any damage to the home. Uh, because you have to realize that while you might be testing new homes, there are a lot of existing homes that this still applies to that might be furnished as well. We can't damage any of the fixtures or items inside the home with our blower door test. So we test at 50 pascals of pressure. It's just enough to get a reading. In other words, it's a very small pressure. So at 50 pascals of pressure, the air changes per hour can be no more than three or five, depending on where you are, what code you're on. Uh, that means all of the air inside of the home gets exchanged with new air from outside under that 50 pascals of pressure, no more than three or five times per hour. Now, if we extrapolate this a little further to things that are beyond code, we would say that uh, 0.6 ACH50 is the passive house number. Uh, and if I remember correct, uh, 2.6 ACH50 is the uh, Energy Star number. So if we are looking at, uh, you know, you can buy the little, you can buy an appliance that has the Energy Star label, you can actually get an Energy Star certified home if that home is gonna meet the air leakage standard for that and not some prescriptive path, uh, you, can, uh, you can count on it being 2.6 ACH50 or less. So you see where code for 2021 is five, code for my market is still three because it hasn't been adopted yet. Uh, Energy Star is 2.6 and Passive House, the most stringent uh, energy efficiency standard in the, in the world uh, is 0.6. So that is a substantial drop in what we're talking about. So how do we get, how does the math work to get to an ACH 50 number? So our our test pressure is going to be 50. So we don't have to worry about the one number in this during our math. Our math is uh, quite simple. Our blower door is going to give us a cubic feet per minute reading, uh, which then we're, then we have to resolve this to by the hour. So that's a simple times 60 equals cubic feet per hour. And then we're going to take that cubic feet per hour and divide that by the volume of the house, which means the size of your house affects the size uh, or, or the ACH numbers. So for round numbers, let's do a thousand square foot house with nine foot ceilings. That gives us a 9,000 cubic footage number for our volume. If we were gonna take a, let's say 500 uh, CFM of leakage, uh, and we will, pardon my math here, uh, multiply that by 60, that gives us 30,000 uh, cubic feet per hour of leakage. And so then if we take that cubic feet per hour divided by the volume, that would be uh, 30,000 divided by 9,000, which would give us 3.3 um, ACH 50. So you can see that 500 CFM, uh, also we should talk about CFM is not a direct correlation. A two by two hole and a four by four hole doesn't, it doesn't equate exactly to 
uh, and expanded leakage. Also, uh, shape of hole, access that the air has to that hole, uh, temperature difference between indoors and out. Like there's so many volumes that we can't easily equate what 500 CFM is. You're just gonna have to test multiple houses so that you get a feel for what kind of things you're tracking down. One of the things that I like to do when I'm doing a blower door test is I get my CFM number and then I crack a window and then I can go, okay, well that window was three feet wide and I cracked it two inches uh, and it caused this much CFM. So that house with 500 CFM of leakage wouldn't pass uh, our current market's code of three ACH 50. So let's do a 2000 square foot house that at nine foot ceilings would give us uh, 18,000 cubic feet. And then if we do that same uh, 500 CFM times 60 to get us CFM per hour. So then we would be taking 30,000 uh, cubic feet per hour and dividing that by 18,000, 1.6, yeah, 1.667 uh, ACH 50. So by keeping the air leakage amount the same, but making the house twice as big, that basically cut it in half, uh, our ACH number in half. It's based on total air leakage. If you have more air inside the house, it takes more pressure to leak that air. So let's go to a 5,000 square foot house now. Uh, that would be 45,000 uh, for our volume calculation. And if we stick with that same 5,000 uh, or 500 CFM of leakage, that's 30,000 cubic feet per hour. If we do 30,000, uh, divided by 45,000, we get to a 0.6 number. So it's easier, the bigger the house, to manage that leakage because it gets sucked up by more volume. So you can see that at 500 CFM still, we went from a 1,000 square foot house to a 2,000 square foot house to a 5,000 square foot house, and we went from not meeting code to being almost uh, half of what code allows to being passive house certified. We didn't do anything except for keep our air leakage the same across all three of those volumes. So that's a really challenging thing to wrap your head around. Uh, so you should be able to understand that if we have a 1000 square foot house that's passive house certified, that's a really good job. And if we have a 7000 square foot house that can can't even pass the five ACH number. That's a really, really bad job. Uh, but I think that this is something that I, when I first had a blower door, it didn't do the calculation for me and the software didn't work with my Mac computer. It was just a PC device. And so I had to dive into this and I feel like the first time I ran a blower door test, I fully understood the numbers because I already had looked up the math, how to do the math and spent some time trying to figure out the math. So we're shooting this video from our hilltop house and we haven't run a uh, blower door test here yet, but I did go ahead and do some of the math for what our blower door test needs to be for certain goals. So let's run through the math on this house. This house is uh, 28,384 cubic feet. Uh, this house is somewhere in the 2,600 square foot range. We have a basement uh, plus one, one section of the house has an upper level. So if we do that uh, 500 CFM here, we are uh, one ACH 50. I think it's 1.04 or maybe it's 1.05. So you can see that when we translate that same 500 uh, cubic feet of leakage to this house, we are, uh, you know, well below code, uh, not as low as we would like, but this is still an incredible success because we have uh, two sections of the house that cantilever and we have air barrier on five sides of those, those spaces. So if we were trying for 0.6, I can work the math backwards to get that we're like uh, 285 or thereabout uh, CFM of leakage equals a 0.6 number. So the only other number here that 
came into our mind was like, okay, if we are just meeting code, if we're three, uh, what are we worried about? You know, what does is, what is that equate to in CFM? So the math to work backwards, which is how I got these numbers, is three ACH 50 multiplied by the space of the house, which is that 28,384, which gives us uh, our cubic feet per hour, or yeah, cubic feet per hour, and then we can divide that by 60, and that gets us to somewhere in the range of 1,420 CFM, which is almost three times what that 500 number is. So play with the blower door, figure out how the CFM equates in your environment, at least with a window to try to get to that point. And now you understand that uh, the bigger the house, the less the problem, the smaller the house, the more complicated the problem. And we'll run a blower door and we'll make a video about running the blower door here and you'll be able to check my math on this to see where we are. Uh, we're hoping that we're, we're under that one number uh, and I don't think that's gonna be a problem. So know the math, understand why it works, understand what the, uh, what the effects are and, and why it's important. Uh, and know that the code has changed to five uh, ACH50 unless you're running on some sort of uh, performance path or uh, your municipality hasn't adopted 2021 yet, which I think at this point in 2021, most of our municipalities haven't. So thanks for watching on the Build Show today from the Hilltop uh, Aero Project. I'm Jake Bruton. Don't forget to subscribe to the newsletter. You get an email every week from Matt Reisinger showing Wade, Brent, Steve, and I's uh, awesome video content. Everybody's putting up one video a week. It's all good stuff. We're learning a lot from it. I'm really happy to be involved. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's jake.bruton, and thanks for watching.